All right, welcome everybody. Extreme Car Breaks. It's Sunday. We're about 10 minutes early. I wanted to do this thing after the football game, so I figured I'd knock it out now. This is just going to be a 1989 score football box break. And uh, there's no owners to any of the rows or anything onto it. It was just something I got um, offered it to anybody that wanted to get a row. These are kind of expensive. Otherwise, I was just going to keep it anyhow and just buy a second box anyhow uh, for myself. But anyhow, we're just going to do this more of a preview just to show everybody pretty much what's in indeed. These all come from uh, the baseball card exchange where they get the case. They make sure it's not been tampered with. And we roll with them. <laughs> I put my thingy in there. So it's sealed number one, you'll see from them. And then you can see it's sealed a second time. Then they even give you a little thing on the back saying certified, who did it, and everything down there. It's pretty cool. Pretty cool. This might be a little bit longer of a break. Um, so just bear with me on the video. I know for some people like the older stuff, I'm going to try to pick it up once a month. Um, something different each month to do and what I'll do is if anybody wants to buy into it they can if not no big deal I like the older stuff myself <laughs> look how old this stuff is man don't you remember this stuff holy cow alright so I'm going to go ahead and get my gloves on here Even <laughs> I touch gloves with everything get my own personal stuff Last time we were really good on the road break with it. Um, that's why I opted that way. Everybody at least here got an Aikman or a Sanders rookie. Some people got both. Some people, I don't think we have a deal on last time. So, See, the thing is with these, these packs here, you got to watch. Because if you don't do them right, you'll ding these corners up. Something... Uh, Learned after the first one we did because it was a little tricky. So I'm going to do, I'm not going to do these pack by pack. I'm going to cut off a row and then we're going to knock her out. Be a little bit quicker that way this time. Plus I know how to cut these. See how many Aikman and Sanders we get. I know a lot of people like watching the older videos to see uh, pretty much what the ratio is. Um, I'm going to see if we can kind of live up to it from last time. I think it's supposed to be two Sanders and two Aikman per box. I think we just lucked out with the sequencing. So we'll see. We'll see. Then we'll probably do another promo video or promo YouTube video uh, giveaway. Here we go, YouTube giveaway. Uh, probably look at two weeks. I just want to see how well this uh, did overall. What needs to be changed and go over with a marketing person with them. Just to make sure we're hitting all aspects of it. If I do get anything good, probably I'll eventually send stuff out to PSA and I'll let you guys know how that turns out. That's a long process with PSA. When you're talking, uh, uh, they're supposed to be their 10 day thing, it turns into like a month and some change just because the way they run it now. Time I mill it and get it back, I bet you it's six weeks from what I'm understanding right now. I think the next vintage we're going to look at doing is either going to be 82 tops or maybe 85 tops. I 
since now everybody's considering the 80s going into vintage. I I just, it took me a while to accept it. Probably because I collected during that time. I just don't see how it's vintage, but I am getting it now. Pretty much just like a pill and a banana here with these. But anybody that orders this weekend from Friday night on, it's going out tomorrow. Ready, that'd be row one. See what we did and then damage wise here. Maybe get some PSA tens. Well, there's a name you haven't seen in a while. Eric Metcalf. There we go. Let me put some of these off to the side. I'm at least sleeve for now since these are all mine anyhow. Jim Everett. All the rookies are in green, I do believe. I'm also looking for uh, Joe Montana. Stuff like that. Some of them are, uh, wow, these aren't even stuck like the last box. Oh, there we go. Primetime. Dion. There he is. Dion Sanders. I came getting a sleeve. I can tell you that D on come back at nine. Unless they're being gracious on them. Brown. That's kind of cool. These things aren't stuck this time to them. Oh, we hit a second D on. There he is, off centered. Get back in focus here. As you guys can see, left to right's off onto it, top to bottom, even the back. Honestly, that might be an eight. Depending on how well they hit it, could be a nine. Now, that's all that we even had a D on. Carter, not as rookie year before. Okay, so trivia. <laughs> Some of these names I haven't even recognized. For the Steve Young, I'll we'll put him off the side. Montana. Got in the last half of that row. Might just had a really good box last time. Metcalf rookie again. Bo. I think we just had a really good uh, box last time because nothing. Let's sleeve these up real quick. 
I don't think we had a killer box last time, so we didn't pull an Aikman or a Sanders this time. These there. Oh, I remember that was real one. So real one only gave us two Metcalfs and two Dion rookies. Interesting. Oh, just so I told, I want to say I told some of you guys, told you so about James Conner. His cards are just going berserk on eBay now. That bell, I don't know what it is now, but he was sitting like 118 yards, two to running touchdowns. I think he had like 30, 40 receiving yards. Le'Veon Bell, who? Pulls this off for about next game or two. Might end up uh, putting my little James Conner rookie lot I have on the eBay. -er. Had a feeling of keeping some of those uh, ones I had. The impeccables. I think I had any NTs. That was weird. Much NT I had the Steelers and I didn't think I got any of him in there. Same with Flawless. There we go. Well, at least I got one impeccable. Got the one Steeler logo into it. There's another Origins back there. Some Prisms. For yet next week, Spectre comes out. I got some loose boxes in the store if anybody wants them. Did, couldn't get enough to make a half case or full case of it, so just leave it in there. Maybe what we'll do on uh, like Friday night, if they're still in there, maybe I'll bust one and see what we pull out of it. Maybe we'll use something out of that for a giveaway on the tube. See what row two beholds us. Zimmerman, Flutie, Rocker. Wow, that's name I've heard forever. Herschel Walker. Jerry Rice. I remember Steve Atwater. There's a name. Wow. Andre Risen rookie. Dan the Man Marino. I build a set of these. I liked these when I was a kid. I'm ready. Focus back up. Andre Rising again.
Well, that's the honest scene for a bow again. Yeah, I'm starting to think now. Maybe we just had a really good, good box last time. Good old Jim Kelly. Okay, guys. There we go. Tracy Rocker dudes all through it. To the same exact pack over and over again. Another Ryzen. Three Andre Ryzen rookies will end in that stack. Couple Montanas. So there's real much to get these sleeved up. There's really nothing to their system except for I could tell with the green side of the house on how they did the rookies. Looks like. Uh, that was all heavy Andre Ryzen, big time. Decent receiver back in the day. And I guess I'm just sleeping these and Caesar for my own personal use. So. These are just ones I know if they go PSA 10, they're worth some money. Jerry Rice. There's one Ryzen, Marino, two Ryzen's, Bo, three Ryzen's, and Joe. Too bad. Alrighty. Let's trivia things. <laughs> See what we got here. Next row. Come on, be a row and give me like two Sanders and two Aikmans now. Come on. Yeah, I was redoing the store this week too. Um, you'll see now. When you log on to it, the top will have where the like little home catalog tab is at. You'll see the word breaks now. You click on it, it has all the sports. We're going to start putting the cards for sale on there. The ones on are just the tests I had to have a card on there. So that's why it's a million dollars, so don't laugh at it. It was so nobody buys it, <laughs> basically. Um... But yeah, working, looking at the auction stuff. Had some free time this week, so we got some stuff knocked out on tour. How I liked it. Plus, they're now adding uh, tags on to it. I don't know what you want to call them, keywords into the little tags on there. So it kind of populates more on the old Google and. Whatever else there is, Bing. So yeah, we did a little bit of an overhaul onto it, which was expected. Uh, cause I appreciate some of you guys' insight on that, on what would make stuff look better and easier. So, moving on with it. Eventually, we're gonna move away from eBay. Beginning of the year, sometime. Um, I just got to see what this auction piece is going to run and how it's going to work. So, see what it's like. The idea is to try to stick away from feeding eBay.
But since it is the end of the year, all the product is going to start going nuts. And you guys will see that, I mean, last year from middle of November, December, we were breaking multiple cases a week. We were even doing weeknights, Wednesdays, Thursdays, Fridays, just to get all the stuff going. It's insane. So you guys will have that. See how much quicker this went from last box? So we did 89 score. A lot quicker. Plus there's no bubble gum in this stuff. Man, this stuff stunk. All that yummy mold on it. Starting off Merrill Hodge. There's a bow. Jim Kelly. Dude, I don't remember this dude. Huh. Bow again. A lot of bows this time. They have fallen each other again. Yeah, I think that last box is just a rare one. No, uh, keep going. There's Tracy Rocker again. I don't think we're going to have any berries or Troys this time. Andre Rising again. Yes, and this is going to be a Ryzen slash, uh, what's his name, uh, Dion K box. Yep, it's going to be that way. I might tell you something, but if you buy loose packs and you hit a, and you hit a Troy or a Barry, it might behoove you to buy the rest of them. I don't know if that's smart and saying or not. Maybe we'll get one more box of and put the knowledge to the test. Always good to have knowledge on the older stuff. Because, man, it's expensive. These boxes here are, man, was it like $3.35 with shipping? Up in price. Right, let's do this last row. Pray. Pray that we get a Barry or Troy. If not, I think we might have a way of looking at how they package this stuff by box finally. Might have to get one more box of it to see. Or, like I said, the last box we have is just one of them rare ones with that many rookies in. And you can see that whenever they got these in, 
how the people are actually when they get their cases in how well people are taking care of it. So this case here, whoever it was, they didn't have it in like the heat. Nothing is sticking like last time. These are all free going. Really nice. I think for the end of the year, what I want to open is going to be an 85 86 uh, Tops hockey box for the Mew rookies. Big, big money box, not going to lie. Usually around 11 1200 But you get that PSA 10 Lemieux, it really, really pays for everything. Plus some. So if you guys are getting into vintage breaks and you see somebody save a fresh box of this, well, my observation out of two boxes so far, if you hit a Ryzen or a Dion, you might not see any other dudes that are big. If you see a Barry or Troy, probably going to have a couple in that bo a K uh, box. I know some of the guys are doing these like $3 a card or something crazy. A couple different places. That's why I was doing them by row, a lot cheaper. Ooh, little dude. Rice. Believe it or not, I think a rice is like, if it comes back at 10, it's like 20, 30 bucks. I gotta look again at the PSA website at it. Same rookies over and over, same ones I've been seeing. Uh, rising again. Montana. Same dude again, Sammy Smith. I don't think they had a good system back in the day. Just trying to figure out what you guys call them, alg algorithm or something like that. Yeah, these are, all the green ones are like exactly the same the whole way through. Yeah, we ain't can hit anything good out of this. Rice All Pro. Tim Worley. <laughs> you gotta be a Steeler fan, know that name. Yep. Wow, that's crazy. Not one Sanders or Aikman. Interesting. Bunch of Andre Risens, though. Separate and see what we got here. These are by rows, but we got Rice, one Ryzen, Montana, Rice All Pro. I think there was only one of those. Bobo, Ryzen, Bo, Joe, one Dan, Jerry. There's three more Ryzens. So, total five Ryzens. Steve Young. Three Joes, there's a Metcalf, four Bows, two Dion's, so two Dion's, two Metcalf's, five Risen's,
Two rice, uh, four bows, three Joes. One Dan, one Steve. Pretty interesting. All right, guys, that's the end of me. Thank you, thank you for sticking around. We want to do something different for opening up football season today. I wish you all a good Sunday. Remember, the store has been revamped. Once I get notified of a pre-order uh, is good, if it's loose boxes, I'm going to put in the store. So you guys can lock it in at that price. Instead of like before uh, release day where it jumps up, especially top products, you know, 20, 30 bucks a box. You can get them cheaper that way. Um, just one of those things to have in a license. Other than that, I'm out. I will see you guys later this week.